of the galaxy. I'm sorry, but if the Forge can bring back the people we love, it's worth any risk. You were too weak, too selfish, to destroy the Forge. Now our empire, our people, shall rise again! Once we get off this planet, I'm going to leave the Guardians. If I'm alone, the only one who can get hurt is me. This is my chance, Peter. To protect my new family. Like I never did for Hovat and Kamaria. Peter! You must do it! Now! Damn it, Drex! I'm not doing it! I am Groot! Oh no! Groot! What, what happened? I was going to fight that beast to the death, but Quill would not let me. I have been denied the sanctification of sacrifice, and I demand mediation. It's all Pete's fault! Look at Groot! Thank you for freeing me, and teaching me that the loudest shouter is usually the most correct. But I must go. I thought we were friends, Rocky. Me too, Pete. Me too. Next up, is your Codex device... One drink, sick? and then we find out. Suggests... <sighs> uh, hold on. Where to even we start? We have some breaking news. Reports are flying in about a violent Kree attack on Jabari 5. Millions are feared dead. That was easier than expected. I'll see if they can pour us something a bit stronger. We're gonna need it. We need to talk. You are the Star-Lord that's caused nothing but trouble for Allah, are you not? I need your help. Well, you got a funny way of asking. Most people don't point a gun in my face when they want my help. Look, I... my... my name is Baldin, son of Hala the Accuser. You've seen what my mother is capable of. The weapon she now has in her possession. You want to stop her, right? Let us work together. No more people have to die. I'm not helping you with squat until you put the gun down. Not until you agree to help me. Yeah, that's the opposite of what I asked for. I risked my life. It is treason to my people. I... Just so I could find you and stop my mother from destroying our... What the hell is going on here? Gamora, this is Baldin. Hala's son. He wants to help us. Hala's son? I don't like this, Peter. This has to be some sort of trap. He probably thought he could take advantage of you. I only wish to help you! The Cree word for help is also the word for murder. Trust me, he isn't some evil mastermind. He seems really nervous. Yeah, but you know when else people are nervous? When they're lying. Oh, I suppose we could use him to gather intel on Hala. If there was a way to be sure he was being truthful. Uh, maybe I should just go. I'm sorry that I bothered you. Whoa, 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 not so fast. You're not going anywhere, friend. Wait, Gamora, where are you? Make sure he doesn't leave. I'll be back. <coughs> Man, 
Mantis? Groot? <sighs> Sorry about the wait. Mantis needed a little convincing. With Mantis' help, we'll be able to figure out if he's telling the truth. This is why you dragged me back? You said it was life or death. I am You Groot. just want to use my powers as some sort of lie test. I don't have to put up with this. Come on, Groot. Let's go. I know you're upset, Mantis, but please. We need your help. Help you with what? Interrogating a very frightened Kree? I don't think so. This isn't just some random Kree. This is Hala's son. I'm Groot? Your mother is very mean. <sighs> okay, I'll help. But I'm doing this for the galaxy, not for you. Fine. I'll ask the questions, you just tell me if he's lying or not. Oh, are you done talking about me like I'm not here? Not that being treated like I'm invisible is anything new. Reminds me of home. <laughs> I like you, kid. You might just fit right in around here. I'm not sure if that's a compliment. My friend Mantis here is an empath. Which means she'll know if you're lying, so... <laughs> tell the truth. Why did you come here? It is as I said before. I came here to stop my mother and save my people. The Kree have a mistaken view on superiority. If we were truly great, we would lead by example, not by force. <laughs> oh, and you really think that's possible? Only through acceptance of all kinds will we be able to grow and prosper. Wow, look at you. Truly an original. I bet you are a real hit at Cree parties. Not particularly, no. My people, I just need new leadership. <laughs> and it sounds like you've got someone in mind for the job. Oh, I had never really considered it. Maybe you didn't understand what I said before. I know you're lying, so don't screw with me. Okay, okay. Maybe I have considered it. But I... I'm not sure I am fit to be a leader. It's hard to tell between the fear and shame, but I think he's telling the truth. I know, as long as Hala continues to lead the Kree, they will never change. And I... I can't help but feel responsible. My mother... She wasn't always like this. She used to be different. I am Groot. So tell me... What was Hala like? She was uncompromisingly strict. As a leader and a parent. It was her way or no one's way. But I thought she truly loved her people. She didn't... kill... like this before. I have a proposition. I am Hala's only child. If she thinks you are keeping me hostage, it would emotionally compromise her. She'll become careless. It could give you the advantage you need to defeat her, freeing the Kree from her rule. All I ask in return for my cooperation is when the time comes, you must promise to spare her life. He could just be using us so he can rise to power. Please! There has been enough death! I am Groot. I don't know about this. Couldn't you use him as an ally? Okay. You got a deal. You help us take down Hala, and we promise to keep her alive. Thank you, Star-Lord. Your word is your bond. As is mine. We'll be watching you. Then you will see I have no ill intentions. You're going to stay where I can see you. We're going back to the ship. Let's go. But even with Belden's help, do we still have a chance? Hala is armed with a devastating weapon. Combined with the forge, there's no stopping her. I am Groot! But the Guardians are broken. I don't see a world where you can actually defeat Hala. 
And when you were together, you all hated each other. I can't imagine a time when you didn't hate each other. It wasn't all bad, Mantis. We had plenty of good times. Come on, Groot, help me out here. Mm. I am Groot. <gasps> what... what is it? Me, man, I'm innocent. You got the wrong guys. Oh, you mean to tell me there's another rodent and tree duo out there? Yes! Who were scanned and ID'd by several bystanders. Yes! And caught red-handed. I'm telling you, I just got one of those faces that looks guilty. I am Groot. Yes, yes, we know who you are. Forget it, Groot. These bucketheads can't understand you. Don't worry, I know how to handle this. Soon as they lock us up, I'm gonna go up to the biggest, baddest dude in there and knock him out. Oh, oh boy. Hey! I did not know this was an animal prison, too. Or perhaps you are my meal. I am Groot. And I... And Frax the Destroyer! Do not attempt to challenge me. I will tear you limb from limb, or snout from tail, whichever would be more painful. I challenged you. I'm still here. That is because you cheated! You had a weapon, and I did hey, not. You take it easy. <laughs> Knock it off! All right, all right. Make room for one more. I don't get too comfortable. We'll be back to take you to permanent lockup soon. Who is this loser? Call me... Star-Lord. I'm sure you've all heard of me. Especially you. Definitely not. No. Nope. Hmm. I am Groot. I don't know. I can't take anyone with facial hair seriously. Nice to meet you, Groot. What kind of tree are you? Spruce? Elm? I am... Groot. Yeah, you already said that. Hmm. I could tell you guys are the real badasses in the room. Legendary outlaws like me. Oh. Not you. Uh. We're too good looking to stay locked up in here. Don't you think? The second the Nova Corps start running background checks on us, none of us are ever going to see the sweet light of day again. I don't know about you all, but I got an amazing eventful life out there that I want to get back to in, oh, say, five minutes ago. I am Groot. And I'm still Star-Lord. Look, so here's the deal. We're breaking out of here. I'm not going anywhere with any of you. Settle down in there. All of you. I will not settle. No prison can contain me. I'll go gladly if this giant ass won't be there. My ass is the correct proportion for my body. It is 100% pure muscle. I don't need to hear about your ass muscles. I am Groot. I'm sorry. Do you want to go to prison? I am already in a prison. But perhaps you are right, mustache man. I just came up with a brilliant plan that's totally original. I'm calling Can't it... Wait to hear this. The Great Escape. You see that guard there? He's the only one with the key card to get us out of here. But there's no way we can get to it. So we gotta escape another way. There's a force field all around us, but not mm. below us. And that's where you come in, muscle man. Hmm. 
I agree to this nickname. You are going to use those beefy mitts of yours to dig us a tunnel to the other side of the force field. Beefy mitts? We don't have anywhere to hide all the debris, so this tree, well, you're going to have to eat it all. And once we're over there, that's where you come in, gadget guy. Uh-huh. You're little and adorable, so you're the perfect distraction. Say that again. You're the perfect distraction, so that uh, knife lady can kick the guard's asses. Is that you, Rooks? <gasps> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> A couple of you might die. But know that I will never forget you. Or... We could just use the keycard. I love this tree. I think this... is the beginning of a beautiful friend... Escape! You were going to say escape. Friendship. I was gonna say friendship, but escape will do. all ended up together. I never knew. You're not a team, or a family, or friends in the conventional sense. Yeah, it was all the mustache. Peter, I don't think that's it. I don't know, Mantis. I, I really think it was the mustache. It was not the mustache. Okay, fine. It was... It was just a lot of different things that led to us being a great team. We're the guardians of the galaxy. It's time we start acting like it. Then let's go get them back. I am Groot! Welcome back. We still need to find where Rocket and Drax have run off to. They could be anywhere in the galaxy by now. How do you propose we track them down? Mantis, you were able to track down the shrine using your abilities. Do you think you could find one of us too? I can usually only sense someone who is nearby. But I may be able to extend my range with your help. I am Groot. I have an idea! What? You're going to love it! Where, uh... Where are we? You and I have merged minds. This is inside my mind. It seems kind of empty. I've never shared this with anyone before. And you didn't die or anything. This is amazing. I wasn't sure it would work, but it did. Merging minds, huh? This is getting a little intimate, Mantis. We have to get close. 
so that my mind can see far. This island here represents your subconscious mind, Peter. And those other islands represent your friends. Drax and Rocket could be anywhere in the galaxy. In order to find where they are, we need to build a bridge. A uh, bridge? Yes, a bridge of feelings. I won't be able to do it myself. I'll need your help. Yeah, uh, I don't get it. But I'm willing to go along with it. My abilities as an empath will allow me to translate your emotional connection to the Guardians into a physical connection. If we can reach your friend's islands, we'll learn where they are. Now, I need you to concentrate very hard. When you think about the Guardians, what emotions do you feel the strongest? Oh, what the hell was that? On this plane, emotions are able to take physical form. Those are memories that you can connect to with your feelings. If we focus on your emotional relationships with the rest of your team, they will be easier to find. Hmm. I can get her back, Pete, if we charge the floor. You're the one who's gonna keep us from falling apart. You're the one who's going to keep us from falling apart. You're doing well, Peter. I'm beginning to sense Gamora. I can get her back, Pete, if we charge the forge. We can revive her. I can get her back, Pete, if we charge the forge. We can revive Lila. Strong emotional connection with Rocket. That's good. I can sense him. This is my chance, Peter, to protect my new family. Drawing us to him. You've told me how you feel about the Guardians. That's good. But in order to find your friends, I'll need more. How do you think your friends feel about being Guardians? Because of you, Peter. Of honor. This is my hour of honor. My sweet wife and daughter have finally been avenged. doing great. I didn't think I was actually capable of feeling this many emotions. I'm so deep. Let's just try once more. You and the Guardians have had so many amazing adventures. How would you describe your happiest moment with them? I think that's enough. If you explore all these memories, 
We should have what we need to build our bridges. Hey, I was surrounded by a door of fans. Hey, I was surrounded by a door and fans. I couldn't let them go thirsty. It seems you have many cheerful emotions towards Rocket. I can't believe we did it. Thanos is gone. You must be very close to Gamora. You've shown many positive emotions for her. Feelings for Drax are very strong and pleasant. It looks like we can reach that island now. Remember this place from his memory. This is his homeworld, Kylos. He has strong emotions attached to this place. What are you going to say when you see him again? I'll tell him the truth. That Hall is threatening the galaxy. A good fight always makes Drax feel better. Okay, we know where Drax is. But we're not done here. Keep looking. That's the Milana. It makes sense. Gamora's already with me. In spite of all you've been through, Gamora cares a lot for you. You are very lucky to have someone such as her by your side. Can you sense her feelings? Um, about me? I can feel that your relationship is one that she values deeply. So? I know where Gamora is. You've built bridges to the other islands. You should see where they lead. It's the lab on Halfworld. Oh, this place was very painful for Rocket. I wonder why he would return. Without Groot, I don't think Rocket knew where else to go. This is the first place he could think of. I'm proud of you, Peter. You did well connecting with your emotions. I know it couldn't have been easy, for someone such as yourself. Not everyone can connect with people as easily as I can, but I am an empath, so that is to be expected. Uh, thanks. Guess I'll take that as a compliment. You should. 
because you are so emotionally inept. Yeah, I get it, Mantis. Thank you for clearing that up. So, I guess we just have to pick him up. Who should we get first? Let's go grab Drax. Let's go.